Today I'm here to share with you the things I've been loving lately. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, the items I'm going to share with you in this video have been all the things I've been loving lately, aka my monthly favorites. If you've never seen one of these videos from me, in them I include my favorite discoveries or rediscoveries from the past month or so. And that will include beauty favorites, lifestyle favorites, and luxury favorites. It will not include my fragrance favorites because I do those in a separate video. So the next video you see from me should be my fragrance favorites and I usually title that my most addictive fragrances right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this month's items. So we're going to start with makeup as I usually do and the first item is this lipstick from Fenty. This is in the color MVP. This is the one that Rihanna wore during her Super Bowl performance and it's this beautiful red. I am not going to swatch it because I don't want to get messy y'all. <laughs> But I actually wore this in my last video. I will maybe pop a picture in here for you. And I've worn it probably about four times over the past month, which is a lot for me. Red is a color that I really enjoy, especially during the colder months. But I hadn't been wearing it recently. Like I've been leaning towards more like just nudie colors. And I hadn't really been doing too much with my lips. But this red has changed the game. I just love the way it looks. It's this velvety texture. This is not a non-transferable lipstick. It's not a like dry liquid matte lipstick. This is a velvet formulation, meaning it goes on looking very matte, very opaque, but it doesn't really set. It's just like kind of like a cream lipstick, but maybe not as smeary as a cream lipstick. So for instance, I wore this the other night and I went to dinner with a friend and I was able to eat and all my lipstick stayed on. I was eating with a fork. However, it actually made me make a better food choice because I really wanted to get a hamburger. <laughs> and I was like, if I get a hamburger, this lipstick gonna be all over my face. So instead I opted for the fish and ate it with a fork and my lipstick looked perfectly good after my dinner was over. I mean, obviously some of it kind of rubbed off where it was a little bit imperfect, but all I did was kind of like press my lips together and that kind of just redistributed we did the lipstick and it worked out well. So I really like this formula. And I think if you are okay with a non-transfer proof lipstick and you want a red, this is one you definitely should try. I'm actually wearing the other shade that I have of this lipstick today. This is my first time wearing this shade. This is the shade Riri. And I actually really like it. I was concerned when I got it because these kind of shades don't always look right on me. But I feel like this shade looks really good. So I'm happy that I have both. But the favorite one is MVP. The next favorite I have is an oldie but a goodie and this is an eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Camel and this is like a go-to product for me. I think this is the second one that I've had of this but basically what I've been using this for recently is just popping it in my crease with nothing else like no primer or nothing. I just pop this in my crease as like an eyeshadow. Sometimes I kind of bring it down onto my lid and it doesn't do a lot but I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you guys can see it but I'm wearing it today and I feel like it just gives me a little bit of definition kind of just evens out my um, eyelid skin shade <laughs> to match the rest of my face. Sometimes I do the same thing with bronzer but lately I've been liking to use this again and I really love this shade. So again, that's Bobbi Brown Camel Eyeshadow. I actually have another eyeshadow product and this is from Natasha Denona. This is the Yucca Palette. This was gifted to me from the brand for review, not on my YouTube channel. So I'm just mentioning this now because I want to, it's not a requirement, but I did want to mention that it was gifted. So anyway, um, this is the Yucca Palette. It's all these different shades of khaki green colors, which Granted, this is not probably a palette I would pick if I was just starting out in eyeshadow because this is not like an all around palette. 
by any means. I don't feel like this is all inclusive. This is kind of more of a specialty palette. But if you like your greens and your olives, I think this is a really nice one. And I like that the shades really show up on me. Sometimes these olivey green shades, I feel like they end up either looking chalky or just looking too brown. But these really show up true to color on my skin tone. And I appreciate that. So I have been, when I feel like doing eyeshadow, I have been using this palette this month and I really like it. The next makeup favorite is actually a setting powder from Amico. I think that's how you pronounce the name but I picked this up from Sephora I think at the end of the sale that they had so I've had it a couple months but I really just started using it over the past month or so and number one I like the packaging of it so it has this little separator here and then when you open it it has this little mesh so you can press your powder uh, you can press your sponge into the mesh or you can press your brush into the mesh or you can like empty out into your lid like normal. Uh, but I've been just pressing my brush into the mesh and I feel like that gives me a good amount of product and I've been really enjoying this. It really does a great job of setting underneath my eyes without giving me any cakiness, without giving me any flashback. And I just really like the texture. It feels very soft. It blends out really well, even when I've applied too much. It still blends out really well. I don't feel like it gives me any type of white cast. So I've been really enjoying this. And I'm pretty sure Amicole is a woman of color owned brand. I hope I'm correct on that. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure it is, so I'm always happy to support that. But other than that, I love the product. So I'm really glad that I tried this out. And the last makeup product I have is also from Amico Lay, and this is the Lip Oil. This one is in the shade Bliss, but she has quite a few shades. And I think the clear one, I don't know if it's been going viral. I actually just picked this up during the sale because I, it, it popped up for me somehow. I was looking for something else and this one popped up and so I ordered it, took a chance and I really like it. I am so happy with this. I love the formula of this. It's very, very shiny. I will swatch it for you, but I will say you're not gonna see much. This is definitely more of a my lips but better type of shade, but I've actually worn this in a video. So if I can remember which video, I will pop a picture up for you all. But it's just like a great everyday lip product and it's not, it's kind of like a gloss. Like it looks like a gloss obviously, but it's in oil. So it feels way more hydrating than a normal gloss. Um, it kind of feels like I'm wearing a lip balm, but it's very like shiny. <laughs> so I like it because it feel it looked like if I'm wearing it, it looks like I tried, you know, because I got a shiny lip on, but I really didn't. Like I just basically put on a glorified chapstick, but <laughs> I love it. So the texture of it is nice. I love the applicator on this. And I feel like for a lip product at Sephora, it wasn't that expensive. I believe it's like $20. So I feel like that's like a really good price for Sephora anyway. So Highly recommend these lip oils from Amicole. Before I get into my body products, let me know if this thing is distracting back here. <laughs> I've had this picture for a while and I don't, it was just like sitting in a corner. <laughs> and so I pulled it out. I don't know where to put it. So I just kind of stuck it here for now. But I feel like baby girl is trying to compete with me, you know? So I don't know. Y'all let me know if it's distracting back there and I will move it. Um, but for right now, it's there. So hopefully it's not a bother. Anyway, I have a couple of bath products. Um, the first one is from Dr. Teal's and this is the body wash. And this is the prebiotic lemon balm body wash. I really love the smell of this. It's very awakening. So I've been using this in the mornings. And it just really helps wake me up, helps brighten my mood while I'm taking my morning shower. Of course, it lathers well. It does everything a body wash is supposed to do, but really it's a favorite for the smell. And it was inexpensive. I think this is like $5. <laughs> Meanwhile, like Dove and Olay is like almost twice that amount. So this is my first time trying one of the Dr. Teal's body washes, and I will definitely be trying more. The other shower product I have is this, and this is a bath fizzer, I guess that's what they're called, um, but it's by the brand Body Restore. My husband actually ordered this for me from Amazon. It came in a big bag. This is just one of them. I'm not gonna open it, but basically it looks like an Alka-Seltzer. So it goes into the shower, and as the water hits it and the heat hits it, you get this beautiful smell. Now this one is the energized one. So it's this beautiful citrus smell. And again, I like to use this in the morning because it really just helps to wake me up. So if I'm having a day like where I, I'm like struggling, I definitely use both of these. 
<laughs> other than that i've been using this one pretty much every morning and then this one you know as needed but i just really enjoy it it really just helps to boost my shower experience and it's just a little thing that makes a difference i also have the nighttime one i think it's a calm one but i prefer this morning one um but both are good i will try to link it i know my husband got them from amazon he just came across it and ordered it for me so i'll um, try to link them below for you next up i have one pair of shoes to share with you and these are them <laughs> these are from anthropology i don't remember the name but i will definitely link them for you but they're kind of like birkenstock style shoes uh so double buckle but they're bright gold and they're metallic and they're gorgeous and they kind of um to me they kind of dress up the birkenstock style so i feel like these are perfect for a casual outfit even if i was gonna wear it at night or something if i'm dressed casually it just is like a step up from a regular birkenstock in my opinion um now i know the sizes are now limited on this shoe i will link it for you all um but i also did a blog post that kind of featured some other shoes that are similar to this and i just feel like this style i've really been enjoying so i will link that blog post for you all as well but i've been loving these they're super comfortable they look luxe they feel luxe and the color is perfection speaking of the perfect goal i have a handbag that i want to share with you all and it's this one she's so pretty she's so pretty so this is a dupe bag this is not the real bottega veneta jody bag um but that's what it's meant, meant to look like the jody bag so I have liked the Jodi bag since I saw it. Um, my girl Keiko Beauty has one. I think she has two now. <laughs> and I'm always looking at her as like, oh, I want it. But these are so expensive. And I just, for some reason, it's not something that I was ready to pull the trigger on. So I've been wanting a gold bag in this color. So I ordered this one. I think I saw it on Brittany from Pockets and Bows. I think I saw it on her channel or her Instagram or something. And so I ordered this one from Amazon. And what I liked about it is it's real leather. So a lot of the dupes that I had seen for this previously were made of polyurethane. They look cheaper. This one to me feels like very good quality. It smells like real leather. It looks like real leather. And I love the color on this. So since I've had this bag, I actually looked it up again. And as of right now, it's no longer available on Amazon. So I don't know if it's going to be coming back. I will look, of course, before I post this video and try to link it for you all, but no promises. I also looked at the Bottega Veneta version of this and this color is no longer available from them either so sorry <laughs> i almost didn't share it because you can't really get it but i've been loving this bag y'all and i like it because it's a nice bag for like nighttime it matches those shoes perfectly it holds everything that i would need like this is not one of my like tiny bags that i would carry at night it just holds everything i need and it's something i can carry that i don't have to be concerned about so for instance i took this with me to a comedy show and it was at a comedy club and i've been there before plenty of times and I didn't necessarily want to carry one of my designer bags because I feel like it's kind of a messy place. Like things can get spilled on you and that type of thing. But carrying this, I felt like it looked really good. <laughs> and if something spilled on it, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, I love this bag. So I had to mention it. Sorry that you probably can't get it, but I've really been enjoying it. This has been a month of handbags for me. So I have another handbag I want to mention, but I want to tell you, I could have put in like so many other bags. I feel like I've been really enjoying my bags this past month. Um, but anyway, the handbag that I'm mentioning is this one. This is the Louis Vuitton Dauphine Mini. I will link it for you all, but I picked this up earlier this month because I had been wanting a monogram bag from Louis Vuitton that I could just carry with anything that could be like an everyday sort of bag. I do have another everyday sort of bag that is larger than this. It's a YSL West Hollywood and it's great and it goes with pretty much everything, but I really wanted something monogram. Like I've been a Louis Vuitton lover for a while, but I really didn't have much monogram stuff. So when I saw this bag on Fashion File, I was able to get it on sale. Like they had like an extra 10% off their sale prices 
and I feel like I got this for an amazing price and I love this bag I love that it's not something that I see all the time I also love that it's smaller than say the pochette Matisse because I have a pochette Matisse I didn't really want another one although that is a nice everyday monogram bag it's actually a little bit big for me for every day because I typically go for smaller bags so this size for me is perfect for every day unless I need to carry a little bit more than I have my West Hollywood for that but I've been really enjoying this bag I've gotten a lot of compliments on it which I'm kind of surprised but I guess because people aren't really used to seeing it I feel like people have been complimenting me on it and I love that the leather is not the Vachetta leather so I feel like it's definitely more carefree so um just wanted to share this with you all um it is quite expensive on the Louis Vuitton website but I'll link it for you all and I'll also link um maybe if I find another one on Fashion File I'll probably link that one for you too because I think I got this for almost half off I don't know if it was half off but I definitely got it for at least a thousand dollars under retail so yeah <laughs> by the fact that I said that y'all know it's expensive but I really like this and I would say that if I paid full price for this I think I would still be okay with it like I feel like it's worth the full price but I'm glad that I didn't pay a full price because I'm always trying to save <laughs> But if I pay a full price, I definitely still think it would be worth it. So loving this little thing. I think I'm going to be using it for many, many, many more years to come. The next favorite I have is a pair of sunglasses. And I've actually had these for probably two to three months. But I just started wearing them this month and I absolutely love them. So this is from the brand Crew. And these caught my eye or this company caught my eye probably about a year ago. I think I must have came across them on Instagram or something like that. But when I looked up their website, they're expensive. And so I never really pulled the trigger on them. I never knew if it'd be something I like. But I got on their email list and they had a sale and I ordered these and I really, really like them. They are very different for me. I feel like they're um, just a step outside of the box, but I really love them. I love the color on them. I love the detail. I will link these. I won't be able to, I don't think I'll be able to link these particular glasses down below, but I'll definitely link the website so you guys can check them out. But these are definitely a step outside of my comfort zone because they're smaller than what I would normally go for and they're a different shape. But they're a vibe y'all <laughs> they are a vibe when i'm wearing the right thing to go with them these are not like everyday sunglasses by any means but i feel like they are attention grabbers without doing too much and they're just different for me and i really like them now will i go out and buy all these different colors probably not but they have tons of colors to choose from and i really really like these and yeah they just give me summertime ocean vibes so definitely wanted to mention these as a favorite the next favorite is actually a tv show and it is a netflix show called beef if you have not watched this you should it's really good very entertaining interesting people are weird in it <laughs> but it was very entertaining i actually started out watching it by myself and my husband caught like the tail end of the first episode and then we started watching it together so yeah it was really entertaining i don't want to tell y'all what it's about but it's funny but it's also drama it's good so if you have some free time you're looking for a new show to watch definitely check out beef if you haven't seen it yet my last favorite is rose wine i have none because i finished my last bottle <laughs> But I've really been enjoying rosé lately. I feel like I come back to rosé every summer. <laughs> I feel like it's definitely more of a summer hot weather wine for me. And I've just really been enjoying it because if I'm sitting outside for lunch or something, I feel like the crisp rosé just really does it for me. I don't have a specific brand because I like to try out different ones. Um, but... I will link two brands down below that I can recall that I really enjoy, but overall it's just rose wine in general. So if you've never tried rose, this is the time to do it when you're out in the summer heat. It's just very refreshing, very crisp and delicious in my opinion. So those are all the things I've been loving lately. Let me know if you've tried any of the products that I mentioned and what is one thing that you couldn't get enough of over the past month. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I typically upload videos three times a week, so I have tons of content that you can check out on your free time. 
Also, go ahead and check out my website. It's www.sympathyaisha.com. I would love for you to look at the stuff that I have posted over there and get on my email list over there as well. Also, if you want to connect with me more, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm in my Instagram stories almost every day and I love to chat with y'all in my DMs. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.